Bless you. Next with testimony. Yes, um, I have a testimony. Um, last week in church, Prophetess Christine was preaching to me that she sees a lot of money coming to me more ways than one and a lot of opportunity and more money coming in more ways than one. And one of my ways came through when I was sitting in the office of my workplace where they paid me on commission and the sons who took over the company from the father, they did it this way so they could make more money. So I'm sitting there and I'm saying, this is, this is crazy. I said, oh God, please answer this, this, this prayer. And in walks the CEO, the father, who hasn't been to the company in a long time. And he says to me, how are you doing, Dwayne? And I'm like, not so good, sir. He says, give me a second. He went and he told me, let's go and talk. So I talked and I showed him everything that's going on. I've been with you for 18 years. This is crazy for what I'm working for. How can someone bring these type of wages home to their family? So immediately he said to his sons, this is what Dwayne is going to get starting January the 20th. And later on, I'm gonna we are gonna give him a raise, and that is that. He's gonna get Christ all this that. money. And amen, that. amen. Prophetic has amen. been answered. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God is answering people. You will get more money. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I I, I see some people too. They, they are moving on. God is great. God is doing something. Yes. We thank God that God is, is answering. The increase. We need increase, not the decrease. Yeah, when you are faithful with your tithes and offering, and you are disgraced and this decrease, something is not right. You need to move forward, not yeah. backward. You need to be promoted. Yeah. You have to go forward. Yes. If you are not going moving forward, call me. Call me. If you have been working in a place for many years, you have not been been promoted. Call me. I will talk to God, and God will move you forward. So we thank God that God who answer by fire is still God. God will God of increase will appear and promote you in Jesus' name. Is there anybody with testimony before I close? The, I close. Yes. Go go ahead. Go ahead with your testimony. Okay, you, you, I thought somebody said yes, a testimony. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Let's, let's, let us cover the testimony. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I cover the testimony and the prayer request with the blood of Jesus. I throw a wall of fire around the testimony and the blood of Jesus. I, I pray that God, my Father, the testimony and the prayers that we have, we have, we have had, and we have prayed, God, cover them. No one will be uh, uh, tested or attempted or be used against these against prayers. Father, throw a war fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name. I give you all the glory, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. we thank God. God is, 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 a, is a great God. We love God. We worship him. It's a wand of God in Jesus' name. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God. It's, it's a wand of God in the name of Jesus. Glory be the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, we thank God. Yes. Um, as Dr. Rind, I want you to open the Bible. The book of 2 Corinthians 2, 2 Corinthians 6, verse 17. To, to to 18 thank you i want to i want to welcome everyone first timers i want to welcome periscope i want to welcome prayer in a welcome popcorn welcome your first timers this is your host prophetess dr christine sigi welcome you i'm going to talk the subject called the prophetic declaration 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 against spiritual soul ties and the covenant 2017 we are going to declare we are going to decree that we are not going with the soul tie and the covenant any soul tie that is broken you that you cannot move forward we will destroy in jesus name i'm going to speak the prophetic word word against your spirit against your life any soul tie 
in your life shall be destroyed in Jesus name and a spiritual Amen. spiritual soul tie spiritual soul tie and the physical and the spiritual soul tie must die they have to leave you they have to get out of your life Amen. soul tie and the Amen. covenants there's you you have no idea what they do spiritual soul tie they are the the the, the the, the things that come to you at night, maybe you you had a, a, a husband, your ex come to appear to you and maybe sex you, abuse you, or you see them, you see your ex, your uh, wife, you see your boyfriend, you see your former boyfriend, eight years, even some who died, you see them. Then there must be something called soul, soul tie. If you see relatives, dead relatives, and you see people whom you you have you have you forgot about them, those are their soul ties. So we are going to destroy soul ties in the mighty name of Jesus. And the covenants, some covenants we make, they are still unbroken. So we are going to break them. These covenants, they are they are making so much problem to you. So tonight we are going to declare them. You are not going to jump with, with them or you are not going to call them to 2017. This soul tie and, and, and the covenant must be broken into pieces. I will break them. You will be free in Jesus' name. This is prophetic declaration. I'm going to declare by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every soul tie affecting your life, I cast them, I command them to die in the name of Jesus. I am coming Amen. against every soul tie and covenant with your dead relatives. I command them to break into pieces and be destroyed and be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. I'm praying any soul tie and a covenant between you and your family guards. I destroy them. I break them. I destroy them. I cast them. I command them to die in Jesus' name. I pray every soul tie between you and any grandparents. I break them and I command them to release you and go to the bottomless where Jesus wants them to go in Jesus' name. You can be a soul tie with your, your, your grandparents, your grandparents who died long time ago, even your uncle, they will appear to you. Any soul tie between you and your grandparents and your ex-boyfriend and your ex-girlfriend, let them be, be destroyed. I break them. I break the soul ties. I command them to release you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. God, I thank you, Father. I want to Amen. thank you, God. Amen. I want to bless your name, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray every soul tie uh, and the covenant Amen. between you and the inner spirit, the husband, or spirit wife, I command you to break Amen. it. I break it. I break it. I destroy you. Amen. I cast you. Amen. I bind you. I, I, I render you powerless in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, there's some, some, some covenants and so tie even if you left you uh, you left uh, your ex long many years you divorced but still you are still mourning you are still crying about your ex you are still in bitter you are still feel bad about you 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 can't leave this person leave you can't leave the person away uh, go away you still remember you still feeling bad about it you still still mourning you still crying you still be bitter let let those that, that soul tie to be destroyed from your life completely in Jesus name. Some of your ex Amen. they are married, they have they are happy enjoying, but you it happened that you did you are you have not married, so you still feeling bitter. Let them go. Let them get out of your life. Don't worry about them. God will open doors for you. Twenty seventeen is the year that you have to clean to clear yourself. You have to clean yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't have to live with the with the with the problem that it will not it would not come back. Your husband is married with the, is um, enjoying with the, another wife. Leave him, leave him. Yeah. Your wife has been married with another husband is enjoying with the, with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the, her husband. Leave her. You are you are boyfriend. You are girlfriend. Your parents wherever they are, leave them. And you need to break them because there's a spirit. That's why I said spiritual soul tie. There's a spirit connecting you with them. So let this spirit be, de be, be, be destroyed and be rendered powerless in Jesus' name. Soul ties. Amen. Some of uh, some 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 of, some of the soul ties and the covenant. You know, 
We make the covenant that we'll die, in, not even Thank sickness, you. not will separate us, not sickness, not dead. It is only dead which separate us. And then you say, yes, help, yes, I will do. The pastor, I ask you, Christine, will you love this person to death? You say, yes, I do. <laughs> now, yes, I do. It comes about time. <laughs> it turns. But now, yes, I do. It turns to tears and cry and mourn. But that, yes, I do, it doesn't die. It will affect you. It will go away. It will not go away unless you get someone who can break for you. You can be married, but you will never be happy still. But now God is a massive God. He forgives and forgets. And any soul dies from your ex crying against you. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them be destroyed. Let them permanently be destroyed. Let it be, be buried in Jesus' name. Some of you, some, some of you, you might be widows or a widower. Now, since you are, you are, you are, you are, you are person past, you are still mourning up, up to this time. You are still regretting, you are still remembering, you are still referring, referring everything that happened. You say, I wish my ex was here. I, I, these things can happen, cannot happen. Not, not ex, I wish my late, my late, my husband, my wife. Yes, they have gone, they have passed, and they have left you. Leave them. You know, that is a soul tie. Soul tie. Today, I'm going to break them and break them and destroy them from your life so that you can be free and be blessed. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, every soul tie and covenant between you and any former house, office, schools, Break and lose your, your hold from this person. You might have soul tie. Even when you dream that you went to your former school, you went back home. Those are soul ties. They want you to, 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 be, to, to go backward instead of going forward. Anytime you dream that you are, you are, you are back to your country, back to your whole school where, where you, you finished the uh, primary, or what do you call it, primary here? Uh, <laughs> and then you see yourself. Yes, Yes, primary. Then you see yourself. Elementary. elementary, yes. Then you see yourself going back to your elementary, back your, where you came from, or even here in Canada, seeing yourself what going back to here? elementary. That, that spirit, that is soul tie making you to, that you cannot prosper. It wants you to go backward instead of going, going forward. People are going forward. You, you need to, to go forward, not backward. I command that soul, soul tie to die, to be broken into pieces, to be destroyed in Jesus' name. I, I come against every soul tie and covenant between you and the water spirit. I break and, and I command them to be dried up in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I destroy them. I bind them. I lend them. You will not be affected by the spirit of water in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against, yes, Lord, Father, I come against any covenant empowering your household enemy enemies break 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 you know there's some covenants that enabled your neighbor your your, your household empower them the covenant that because they make the covenant, they want you also to make that covenant that you will be worshipping them, you will be worshipping the idols. If your household are witchcraft, now they, they, they call you to make a covenant that you will never tell anybody what they do. And, and then you agree, you, you, you make that co covenant, but the covenant is still crying against you. All the, the family... Yeah, for example, yeah, they can be witch doctors, they can have some things at back at, in the family which is connected with Satan. Now, you, you get saved, you said, no, I'm not going to follow this. Now, those covenant, maybe you, you accepted before you became a Christian, the covenant and, and soul ties still aff affecting your life. So, I break them and I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, Lord, I, I bless your name. I give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Sister Lindy, please read for us the scripture, the, book, the Bible that I, the, the, the book that I, I told you to read for us. 2 Corinthians 6, verses 7 and 18. Yes. 17 and 18. Yes. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, 
and it shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Yes, it says, oh, 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 Corinthians, we have spoken openly to you. Our heart is wild open. Is that what you are reading? No, ma'am. Second. I read Second Corinthians six verses seventeen and eighteen. Okay, start from verse eleven. Sorry. Start from verse eleven. Okay, unmute your phone, please. Yes, start from verse eleven. 11. Yes, eleven to eighteen. Yes, sorry. Amen. All Corinthians, we have spoken openly to you. Our heart is wide open. Oh, Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. People of God, discipline yourself. Unmute your phone. We are recording. The world is listening to you. So, to cooperate, or I can unmute everyone. Let me unmute everybody. Q and A mode on. Participants may now unmute themselves. Okay. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Thank you. Oh, oh, Corinthians, we have spoken openly to you. Our hearts is well open. You know, Paul was speaking to Corinthians openly. And, it's, and they said, our hearts is open well. Yeah? He said, oh, Corinthians, there's something he was saying. Oh, when you say, oh, wah, 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 oh, <laughs> it means that there's something that you have seen which is not nice. Which is going to affect. Now go ahead, sister. You are not restricted by us. You are restricted by your own affection. <laughs> okay. You are not restricted by us, but you are restricted by your own affection. Keep, keep on reading. Now in return for the same, I speak as to children. Mm -hmm. You also be open. Yes. Now... Is speaking to children and you also open open the word of God open to run and listen what is it okay continue do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness and what communion has light with darkness now you see here you know who who Corinthians there was something Paul was trying to talk to, to pass to the Corinthians. He said that you have restricted yourself, not with us. And then now Paul is giving, is talking to everybody, not even a Corinthian, any believer. It, it says, verse 14, do not yoke, do not an, an, an equally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has the, righteous, the righteousness with the lawlessness? And what communion has light with the darkness? So here, uh, Paul is talking that you do not yoke together with unbeliever, with the unequal with unbeliever, because the believers will pull you and tie you, and you will find yourself in sin. You are the one to bring them. Many people they backslide because of friends, because of unbelievers. We, have, we can reach them when we go to, 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 to preach the gospel. But we cannot uh, yoke together and do things together. They will swallow you. They will, they will make you. They will tie you down. You cannot be go going anywhere. They will tie you in the spirit. They will tie you everything. And then you cannot be able to operate e e e effectively. That's why Paul was said, everything you are doing is internal up to you. This is your decision, whether you want to do it or not. Many people, they have, they have been tied with an unbeliever, with a, an, an, a, a, yes, an unbelievers, and they can't go out. They can't leave. God has found you with an unbeliever husband. God has found you with an unbeliever wife. That is fine. You can't do anything about it. When you are, you, when God found you, before you were, you were saved, God has found you. Or before you give your life to Jesus, God, God find you the situation you are. You can't change it. You, 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 you are there. That is your husband. That is your wife. So you can't divorce your husband or your wife because 
you, you have you have become a Christian. That that you are not yoked together. That's not what Paul is talking. Paul is talking that there is a, a drunkard person who who takes the opium, who takes the, uh, drugs, and you connect, you yoke with them, you you yoke with them. So that is what Paul is talking. This person, you don't have anything common together with this person. Because it is, the person is breaking the law, it's easily, he doesn't care. When he has put himself, where he has put himself, he doesn't, he, he, he doesn't remember, he doesn't know if there is any law, and he doesn't know if God is existing, or he doesn't know that Jesus is there, because he, he has in, he, he decided to do his own things. And then you find yourself with this person, you are together, you are talking together, you are doing things together. What common? That this is what the Bible is asking. Even business. I get a lot of problem and trouble. As you can find yourself in the company in business, that's fine. That's fine. But as now, when you are going to start with a company or when you are going to, to start a, a, your, your charity, then you involve unbelievers, and unbelievers, this is not racism. This is what the Bible says. You can, there's some boundaries you have to take care. When I was when I was having a school and orphanage, uh, children from Muslim community, Indian children, they were coming. Children who are all of everyone who was coming from all Seventh Day Adventist, Catholic, all children from every uh, uh, tribes were coming. Religious were coming there, but when they come there, they, we told them we are a Christian. We believe the principle of Christianity. We don't practice Muslim in our compound here. We don't practice any religious apart from our religious, apart from our beliefs. That is, if you feel like. You can't go somewhere away, away because this is our territory. And they said yes. So through that, we don't force them to convert them. We don't force them. To, we give them joys. That's why the Bible says it's restriction is entirely, entirely up to you. It's you to decide. Now, you give people freedom. In Canada here, we thank God, or America, even in Africa, Kenya, we thank God that we have freedom of worshiping and doing the right thing that we need to do. Now, you can choose not to, or you can you can choose to involve yourself, but the consequences is that when you are tied together with such an unbeliever, the unbeliever will, will swallow you. You can't, you can't, it can't work together. That's out. Continue, my sister. Verse 15. And what accord, and what accord has Christ with Belial, or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? Yes, what part? What can you take? What what the court with the with with, with the Christ with the uh, barrier, uh, and all? What about as a believer with the unbeliever? You see, an unbeliever cannot take any any part in Christianity because they have denied Jesus, they have denied your God, and you, they want you to connect you. They want you to enter in the in, in them. Yeah? When when my daughter was doing a wedding, there's some people who said that with us we have our money, we can go and take beer after the wedding because we did the official wedding. It went it finished. Now uh, uh, we, we said bye bye, we, we drink, we eat, we enjoy it, we dance. <laughs> then a group of people <laughs> who said we, they cannot go without drinking. That is up to them. Yeah, after the ceremony, everything ended. Uh, they they went and, and bought the beer by, by, by themselves. They started drinking. One of the pastor, <laughs> he went there. He joined them and he went up drinking. He drank until he became very drunk, and then he, he forget himself. Even he was not a pastor. <laughs> so in the morning, I I was told so. Then I asked. <laughs> I asked the pastor, pastor, what happened? You know, I was celebrating my daughter. So I, I that is one time celebrating. I said one time, <laughs> one time. <laughs> why did you remain there when other people have gone and you are a pastor? So it was a Saturday. Now Sunday, the pastor could not be able to preach because he was hung, hung, out, hung out. Is it a hangover or a hung out? Hangover. So. <laughs> yes, <the> hangover. <laughs> it was you see 
you see what the, the unbeliever what he did to a pastor if the pastor could go with the other team he doesn't remain behind he could be he couldn't find himself drink and he could not be able to preach the, the sunday so sunday there was an elder who preached the pastor was not even he didn't go to the church because he was he was so tired oh. and he was he was he was oh. still feeling a drink uh, a drunk that's how so Thai can can do that it, it can pull you and you get together and then you you miss the, the you, you 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 become together you become yoked together as a pastor a man of god after the ceremony like me and the rest of, of us we left and we went back to our houses but with him we remained behind why so that's how you have to be careful continue sister <laughs> Verse 16, and what agreement has the temple of God with Isaac? Yeah. For you are the temple of the living God. Yes. As God has said, yes. I dwell, I will dwell in them and walk among them. Amen. I will be their God yes. and they shall be my people. Amen. Amen. Here is, is another question the Bible is asking. This is not Christine or Overcomers has put this. If you have not had this scripture, go and read it and see yourself. The Bible says, what, what and what agreement has the temple of God with the idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my, my people. Now, you see, uh, you are the temple of God and God lives there. Now, if you go, some people, they do that, not you. You, you can't do that. You go and sleep with an believer or a prostitute. What do you expect that one? The, 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 your body is the temple of God and the God lives in there. And it's your father, is God. Yeah. When you go to a yoke together, when I reach that point, I just surrender. Nobody will come to sleep with me or to have affairs with me. Because I know the, the, <laughs> the temple of God and the God dwells <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will never, I will never. I cannot be tempted, but because I know God has said and He has said, and I know that this is true. This is how I discipline myself like that. And and I even I talk to people. I say that before you get married, please remember you are the temple of God, and the Holy Spirit lives in you. You can get some people they want to test and find out if it's, it's working or not, but remember. All oh, this is this this will drive you to hellfire. We have to be very careful with this because mm -hmm. remember, you are the temple of God. I'm talking this one mm -hmm. to Christian. I'm not talking with an unbeliever husband. If you are believe, if you live with an unbeliever husband and an uh, unbeliever wife, the grace of God is sufficient. The masses of, of God is sufficient through you. You will make your wife to be saved. Through you, you will make your husband to be saved. But if your husband has refused, or as as as, as your wife has refused, and he wants to divorce you or he wants to leave you because of your Christianity, let him go. That one Paul says, let them go. They, you don't have to hold them. But now you you will make your family to be saved. So I'm I'm talking this that don't confuse yourself. Don't confuse yeah. yourself. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember, you are the temple of God, and the Holy Spirit lives in you, and God himself lives in your body. So, to destroy this spiritual uh, 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 soul tie, you must make sure that you take care of the temple of God. Even the thing you feed in your, in, in your body, the, the, the television, the program you watch, the movie you see, the, the paper you read, the books you read, what kind of them, the music you listen, all this will make you to be a slave and it become soul tied with them. The moment you connect yourself to African movie and they are not glorifying God, anything that is not glorifying God, you know, that, that you will be tied with it and then it will destroy your life for no reason. Uh, some people, they argue that the African movie, they are, they, they, they are a Christian, they talk about the Christian. Most of them, they are full of demons. They are, they, it is business. It is business. 
Yeah, they are doing business and they have seen Amen. majority they are foolish. Those people they are doing really. We know there's Christian movies. We don't abuse, we don't refuse that. But they are demonic one, really demonic uh, movie that you 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 follow. And then it will make sure you become a slave. You become sold tied with them. Some people they spend hours and hours to watch, but when you can take a, a, a few hours to pray or to come to prayer, it is difficult. Some I know some people they don't come to prayer. They say they are they are going to watch African movie or they are watching a certain program. They they can't, they don't come because they are so tied. They are tied together with that program. So today I'm going to break them and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue, my sister. Amen. Verse 17, therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Yes. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. Yes. Separate yourself. Separate yourself from soul tie. Separate yourself from them. Come out and separate yourself. Separate yourself. If you want to love yourself, separate yourself. Come out and, go, and don't touch and clean thing. So... This one is another topic, it's a huge topic that I can talk. If I want to talk that one scripture, it can be a seminar. It is a big, it's a huge one. But it, because I'm talking about soul tie, that's why I would just talk like that. I, I pray that God would separate you from unclean thing, from evil people, from soul tie in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I pray that every soul tie and the covenant between you and an occult relationship break and loose and destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray every soul tie Amen. and the covenant between you and any dead uh, uh, relative, dead friends, wherever they are, let them come out from your life and be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, my God. I want to thank God. Amen. Yes, Lord, God Almighty, King of Glory, thank you, Father. I thank you. You come out. Come out, separate yourself in Jesus' name. Go ahead, my sister. Amen. Verse 18. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. When you separate yourself from from, from and touching and and unclean touching and clean things. The Lord has promised us that you, he will be our father and sons and daughters. And he's, he, he, he's the one who's talking the mouth, of, the mouth of God. You look at how God loves us. How he's telling us so kind and loving. Because he wants you to be free. He knows that if you are going to get connected, you are going to tie yourself with them. You can't come out, they will swallow you. He, he tells you like a baby, the baby tells you, my sweet and baby, don't do this. If you do this, I will not do it. I will be like, I will buy you a sweet or I will buy you this and this. That's what we did, our young ones. We said, sweetheart, please don't do this. I will do this and this. God is talking like a baby, like bleeding you. He's, as he's requesting you so kind. He's, he said that I will be your father. Yeah? Is that what he said? What did he say? I will be your father. I will be a father to you. I will be a father to you. Some, some of you, you don't have fathers. But we have a father who loves us. Yeah? Like me, I, I was not blessed with my father. I don't know his character. I, I, I never see him. I never met my, my mother. I don't know how they, 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 they do. They didn't dress me. So I know that I have a father. One time I was praying with a man. And I told him that, call, uh, you have our father, God is our father. I said, no, I can't call God father because my heartly father abused me, so I don't call anybody father. I said, <laughs> his eyes, he was very serious. After talking with him for a long time, it's when he became, he, came, he became to believe that God is our father. This is the scripture that says, I will be your father. He is our father. You are not an oven anymore. You have a father. So the father will be your father and you, he will take care of you when you obey what he say. We thank God that God is able 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm declaring still breaking every covenant and soul tie in your family, in your life, in Jesus' name. Every soul tie and covenant yes, between, between, between you and any demonic church that you have ever attended, I command them to break yes, into pieces. Sir. There is a demonic church, some of you, some of us, we attended and we connect them, we tie them with them. That because you, 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 are, you are tying there, you are so you are tying there so you can't go anywhere they, they are tying you you are connected that's why you, you things cannot work for you because you make a covenant there you sign the form the pastors gave you the form you signed to become a member there you gave your names your children name your family everything there and then the pastor the wicked pastor they take those names to the, their oracle their covenant and they tie to the, their covenant to their, their altar you know some pastors they are very wicked. You think they are going to save the, the your, 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 your information nicely and, yeah. and, 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 and well, but it's going to use it in an evil way. Now you become you become a slave, you become tied, soul tied with them. You can't go even if you go anywhere, they say you cannot prosper, you can't you can't achieve anything, you can't you, you will come back. You wander, you wander everywhere, and then at the end you go to the abuse church where they don't even read the Bible. Another sister was crying to me about two weeks ago. She went, she, she has been wandering so many churches, then eventually she returned back to the church. And when she went there, she got more upset and more depressed. Treasure, if she was here, she can be my witness. And then <laughs> this lady, she wrote to me, <laughs> uh, because she was very hungry, now I thought she's talking to me. <laughs> she said, I'm not going to, to the church where they don't read the Bible. No young people, they don't sing. They, she was condemning them. She was chatting them. She was mad. She was crazy about them. So I said, no, I, our church, we, you've been seeing, we sing, we have young people. In fact, we, we have so young people, a lot of youths than even old people. So what are you saying? She said, no, I went back to my whole church and I saw what, that's why I'm very angry. I said, no. Because you are so tired, you are so so tied with them. That's why you can't go away with them. Let me break that soul tie for you, so that you can be free. I pray that any soul tie between you and any demonic church that you have entered, you have attended, break and be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break them. Many people are suffering and they don't know what to do about the demonic church and the demonic pastors and priests and, and all of them. I break them and destroy them. You are not going to 20, 17 years with all those uh, uh, soul tie and, and covenant. Let them die. Let them be destroyed. I break them. I break them. I destroy them. I cast them in Jesus' name. Every soul tie and a covenant between you and any abolist, some of you, you know, some people, they will always tell you, let's go to the abolist. Abolist, we have someone who can treat this. You can go and drink co uh, concussion. We don't refuse to drink concussion if you can drink and uh, it can kill you. But if you go by yourself and get it, that's fine. But the concussion, this abolist, oh, my sister, Dr. Indy, was telling me uh, cleansing what to do. You can go to the store, you buy maple syrup and mix it mix some stuff you drink that's fine but here is a, a wicked person who is worshiping idols you are going to do to, to his house to mix it with you apple apple is a uh, uh, herbs is it herbs and then and then when you yes then you just swallow it and you don't know what you are sorry they are mixing with the with the human pin with blood or with meat and then they give you you swallow it you drink it and then, and then you say, it is well. No, my sister Sophie, she was uh, sponsored. She was told that there's a preacher and there's a prophet of God. Let's go to, for them to pray for us. But let, let's go for, for, for this man of God to pray for us. Sophie, because she needed help, she went there. Sister, when she reached there, she found it's a witch. <laughs> sister, are you there or you are sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> she found a Lydia wizard, a witchcraft. Now, so, Sister Sophie, she ran from that place. 
she called me straight away. So <laughs> she said, Mama, I I went to the place. I thought I thought it was a man of God, but I found it's a witch, I really wish. <laughs> so I said, you know, I told you you have to be careful what you are going, where you will go. Now, because people they go to they get their long people and advise them and because they are looking for help they end up in a long hands and they get connected they they get so tied there you are being tied with with that ableist because they want you to go and give them money they can't let you go they will tie you every ableist every covenant every soul tie and and the covenant between you and the ableist I break them, I destroy them, I bind them, I render them powerless, I crush them, I crush them into pieces in Jesus' name. Some people, because you are looking for help and you have no idea, one of my, one of our sister, she, she called me also, she was looking for her help, and she went to this woman, and the woman was a witch. She, she told her that she's going to call some heads of snakes from Africa and some other stuff. So she asked the woman to give her money to do the stuff for her to work for. But the woman was so unconscious, she, she didn't realize that this woman was a witch. Now she gave 1,000 USA dollars. Then she, the woman told her, you have to have 500. I need to 1,500 for me to go to, to get the head of the snake from Africa and then to get some other stuff abo, from abo, uh, hub, hubos, hub, hubs from Africa. And then this woman said, what? <laughs> A snake? Yes. And then she realized that now she's in danger. She called me. She said, tell me. Is that prayer or is, is that really prayer or what? Do you people mix it with the snake? I said, snake? Don't you see that that's a witch? That is not normal. That's Satan. You went to a wrong person. It's not a Christian. It's not a prophet. It's not a pastor. That is a witch. And then she had already given all her information. So the witch, because she wanted her money, she wanted her money, she asked to well, this woman, I told her, let, from now, let me fix that witchcraft. She will never call you again. That's how the, the woman was rescued. Now, so Thai, because they know that you will be giving them money all the time, money, they can't let you go. Anyone that has entered in the hands of the witchcraft or a police, because you are looking for help and you tie soul together, I destroy them, I break them, I destroy them, I bind them, I cast them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every soul tie covenant between you and the, and the marine kingdom, I command them to break into pieces in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray Amen. that God will deliver you and deliver you from marine kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you. Amen. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I give you all the glory, my God and my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I bless your name. Jesus, I give you the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, every soul tie and covenant between you and the spirit of infirmity and the sickness, I command you to die. I break you. I break you. I destroy you. I destroy you in Jesus' name. That infirmities, that diseases, that sickness, any covenant, any soul tie, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I break them, I destroy them from your life. I destroy them in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Amen. I pray that any soul tie between you and the spirit of failure, I break them. They are soul tie with the spirit of failure that they don't want you to, to succeed. They are there to destroy you. They are there to make you to fail. Everything you are doing very, very. Do you know some people? They fail even one plus one is, is two, but because they are they, they, they have covenant of failure, they put three or four. <laughs> do you know some people that are like that? They fail even a little. They, they, they can't do anything right. Whatever they try to do, they fail. That is a, a covenant, soul tie between fail. Now, because your father or your mother or somebody that said you can't do anything, you are a failure. Now that so tie it is tying you. You can't you can't succeed. You can't do anything. You whatever you try to do, you do mistakes. You do mistakes. You do mistakes. Let that failure so tie be broken, be destroyed in Jesus' name. Father, I want to thank you, God. 
Yes, I want to thank you, Jesus. I break every blood and soul tie covenant with any spirit, husband and wife in Jesus' name. I break every soul tie with dead parents in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every soul tie with, with Jezebel spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every soul tie with Jezebel spirit. You know some people, they have soul tie with Jezebel. Jezebel died long time ago, but she's operating. Some people, they are having that spirit. They are operating with the spirit of Jezebel. I break that soul tie between you and Jezebel spirit in Jesus' name. I break them. I break them. I break soul tie between you and the familiar spirit and in the name of Jesus. Familiar spirit, they are the spirit that some people, they refer dead people. They always talk about dead people. You can see some like people their parents pass uh, pass they can say my mother came in my dream and they told me exactly what they told me what she told me that's what happened she directed me we don't talk with the dead spirit dead people are dead those are familiar spirits i break them i destroy them i cast them i bind them i let them powerless in the mighty name of jesus yes i break with the blood of jesus all evil soul ties affecting your life and your children your family i break them with the blood of jesus i destroy them i bind them i let them powerless in the name of jesus in the name of jesus I, I renounce and cast out and 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 break every soul tie operating in your life, operating with, with your life that you cannot move forward. Instead of moving forward, you are moving backward. When other people are moving forward, with you you are moving reverse reverse. Let those soul tie be broken to pieces in Jesus' name. 2017 is a year that you will not go with evil soul ties. You will go fresh clean in the mighty name of jesus no children of the wicked will waste your time you cannot be despised this despise and disrespect you cannot move 20, 20, 20, 2017 2017 is a year that you have refused to be manipulated you have refused to be despised you have refused to be disrespected you have refused no children of the wicked will waste you that is how it is you are not going to be wasted anymore you will move forward Amen. children of the wicked children of the devil children of witchcraft no one pawn of a woman will, will, will waste you in jesus name that's why you need to break every soul tie and every covenant in jesus name i'm praying god to give me the some the 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 the, the word tomorrow i'm going to bring tomorrow i'm going to talk more with declaration we will continue declaring, declaring declaring until the end of the year and if you don't want anything if you don't want anything the 20 uh, uh 20 2017 send me an email i've already got some email and and uh, send me i will print them i take them to the altar i will be praying for you because i'm fasting so i need you anything you don't want you don't want to go with it 2017 go and send me an email our email is overcomers dhm at gmail.com and uh, you can uh, treasure you can uh, anybody can write them i don't see treasure i don't know if she's still at work or what what happened to her but if anyone who is in periscope who knows our email address you write it for the people to write it overcomers dh m at gmail.com that is our email you can send me email if you don't want anything anything you don't want to go 2017 you write to me i will be praying for you i'm doing 20 to 40 days prayer and fasting now things you want is you can write the ones one pep one sheet things you you don't want another one things you want god to do to, to do for you 2017 that is a prayer request you you, you email to me uh, those who are coming to to prayer meeting you can bring them you don't need to email them you can just bring them you can write them in the paper and give them to me i had corrected some last year i prayed and that's why the prophetic of 2016 it, it, people have received a lot of miracles i prophesy to many of you that some of you before the end of the year you are going to have money you have never seen before you will hold big money you have never seen people are holding money people have gotten jobs yeah the things that i said those who are giving this month they are giving this month some they don't give this month they don't talk 
they just they just wait if any prayers that we have you have been listening wherever in the world you have been received a miracle the video 2016 that i get i i prophesy if god has touched you give us a testimony we want to glorify god with you i know many of you your life has changed so 2017 it will be another one that is uh, that's the the here that no children of the devil will waste you you are not going to be wasted you have been wasted enough so this year 2017 you will jump clean no covenant will follow you in jesus name if you are living with somebody who is who is not your husband and he doesn't want to be your husband or your wife is wasting your time don't don't waste more time you have been wasting enough decide right now make a decision you have known each other for many years it is your time to to decide before 2017 jesus can come anytime and find you with that dad so where would you be so make sure that you make a deal before the end 2017 Hallelujah. Before the end of 2016. God bless you Thank so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm still praying for you that God will help you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a lot of soul tie. I will bring it another time. But I think this video is going to be wrong. And some people, they have problem with the internet. They, they need it. Uh, not in so long video I, maybe i will continue let me know if you want me to continue with this one or i can get another topic and if you have any topic you want me to talk to preach to 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 help you let me know because some things you want me to discuss you want me to preach over let me know because i i you are my family so i want you to tell me talk about this i want you to teach about the teachers about this preach about this i am a teacher and i can teach you and everything anything that you want me to teach because i will be using the bible it's not a big deal god help you thank you very much i have to stop here i love you so much and there's nothing oh somebody saying continue please <laughs> i will continue I receive you. I will continue tomorrow or another time. Thank you very much. God help you. I love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it. Remember to go to our website www.overcomersdhm sorry www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca Go and sow your seed. Go and sow your seed. We need your, your support to support our ministry. I want to appreciate those who are obedient, those who are really very committed to our, our ministry. The blessings of overcomers, our blessings will flow upon you. Your life will never be the same again. So as you, as you, you will support us, we will help you. You make life easy. You see, anytime you see I'm a full time here, you call me anytime. People call me at night, people call me anytime, and I'm here to stand with you and pray with you. And I can teach you one on one as you, 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 you want to know something. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow, 9 p.m., 9 a.m., and 9 p.m. So tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., 9 a.m. will be on. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine is saying bye-bye. Bye-bye to you. See you tomorrow, 9 a.m. God bless you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.